usually come to these? Between one and six. But, I mean, we just started running them a month or so ago. So, it's fairly new. How much longer will it take you to build the big one if you spend your tokens building that one first? I didn't even see the hit, man. I'm so, like... I thought you were going to try and take that card, like, seven turns ago, and then you started doing other stuff, and I was like, I don't know what's going on, man! <laughs> three, two, three red, three green. That goes over here. And then... You play the Noble, and you should be at 15 exactly. As it is, I think it's going to be a tie, and you're going to lose on the tiebreaker. What does tiebreaker go to? Uh, for the person who built the least number of cards. That was much closer than I was expecting. I, I genuinely believe if he hadn't taken that red card, he would have won by a turn. All right. Good uh, game. Yeah. I, I like this game. Splendor's fantastic. I, I am of the opinion that Splendor should have been game of the year this year. The what was game of the year? Camelot. Oh, yeah, that's right. The betting game. This year? So it, it's a new game? Yeah. Camelot is a... Yeah, they're both new games. They were both new this year. Let me pay for... Betrayal. Yeah. And Wait, you have Betrayal? At the, at the house on the hill? Is that the one? Yeah. No, I, thought that right there. I thought that was out of print. No. It, it's just every other place in the world is out of it. Yeah, <laughs> so about ten months ago, Wizard had a, a Wizard had a serious problem with their uh, one of their printers in China. And so the um, print run of the trail got delayed by about six months. And then as soon as it finally came back out enough backlog of demand had built up that it basically sold out immediately every time the print run came back. Oh. And so they're just now getting to the point where the print runs have caught up to demand and you know, you're able to keep it in stock. I have turned the thermostat back on. I think it was a nice experiment not using that for a day and a half, but it's not sustainable. I'd never seen those performance signs on the blue line stop before. I think it was always just something that people did, and maybe those signs were just recently put up because people started complaining about bad musical performances being annoying. That would be my guess, but I'm not actually sure how long those signs have been up there. I can hardly believe it, but it only just occurred to me that I could try some more MacGyverish methods of keeping the cold air out of this house. We tried downloading the plastic saran wrap, but these windows are actually quite wide and it didn't fit originally. So I'm gonna try this and maybe this will keep my room warm. I won't really save on heating costs though because the windows out here are also leaky. So I'm gonna have to figure out what to do about them as well. Did I tell you about the New Year's Eve party I'm going to? It was recommended to me by a coworker and it's hosted by the Chicago Public Radio WBEZ. The attractions are, of course, live jazz, open bar and stuff like that, but there's also some performance storytelling that apparently has something to do with some show that was hosted on the radio channel. But it sounds really interesting, and that's why I decided to go. I also decided I might as well dress up as long as I'm doing this, so this is what I'm going to wear. I'm not sure how I'm going to get over there in this, because it's like minus eight outside with a wind chill of like five degrees, so I might die if I don't put something on over this. Problem is I don't want to wear a hat because it'll mess up my hair. Hashtag long hair problems. Actually, I think anybody with hair has that problem. Maybe I could use my earmuffs. So another thing that I wanted to show you before I go to this New Year's Eve party is that I made a list of goals um, based on those six categories that I outlined in the previous video. So here are those six categories. I renamed a couple of them. And I decided I want to do this the same way that eSpark does, which is that you have your sort of sort of annual goals, which is these six categories, and then you also have monthly goals where you sort of break them down into more specific, like actionable goals that you can do within a month, but that are also challenging. So this is what I came up with for January. Um, I decided to take this as a screen capture rather than trying to record my screen with my cell phone because that's better. I blacked this one out because of reasons, but there's a goal here too. And then I made it so that I can keep track of the progress, right? So for example, if I say this is on track, it colors it nicely for me. Whereas if this one is, for example, at risk, that's red. And then if it's complete, it gives us a nice green color. Um, I also added one for not started, which is sort of a gray box. And the idea is that the colors will just help me keep track of which ones I need to pay the most attention to. 
at the end of the month I go over here and I just say did I meet this one no yes yes etc and so I've got a template that I just copy a new one for every month and then write some goals and then work through it you know the idea with systems of tracking goals is just that it's very easy to do because the less overhead there is for that the more likelihood there is that you'll use the tool so I've tried to make this tool very easy to use so that I have a higher chance of meeting these goals. I think I said a lot of them, there's 17, which is more than is perhaps reasonable to accomplish in one month, but you know, it's challenging, right? It's supposed to be challenging. And if this ends up being too many, then in February we'll set fewer goals. But I guess my New Year's resolution sort of is to test out this system for a year. You know, it's something to fill the hole in my heart that's gonna be left when I stop making these logs in a couple of weeks. Nice hat tricks tonight from Phyllis's musical in. That's where we went after the debut so be easy party. Yeah, what's going on with those buses, right? Alright, three minutes until the month. Three minutes until the next bus. It's really fucking cold out, but I think we can handle that. I just need to remember to get a hood Charleston and it'll be okay. This is fun. I really enjoyed this. I just like hung out with those two people for the whole night. Jake and Megan, and we found a really nice bar. I didn't really pay my part because they bought both rounds of drinks and the Uber to get to that bar, but I think I'm okay. Mostly I'm just kind of curious to see this footage in the morning and see how drunk I am. Happy New Year, everyone. All right, I made it back to my apartment, and I think that is impressive considering the circumstances. But it's good to get drunk every once in a while, right? I'm gonna need both hands to take this off. Uh, so I'm gonna see you tomorrow. I'll edit this then. So, I'll see you then. Good morning and welcome to 2015. I'm very grateful that me last night decided to drink one of these things and then fill it up with water again so that I could drink it in the morning.